Ultimate Coach, and this is Madden Ultimate Team. Hope you're ready, because we've got another good one on tap. Kicker Graham Gano set to put his foot into this one. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. Take it in at the three. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. As Indy's offense takes the field for the first time, we take a look at Matt Ryan, top 10 all-time in passing yards, playing his first career season outside of Atlanta. In a storied career that has spanned 14 seasons and nearly 60,000 yards through the air, we are seeing a brand new chapter for Matt Ryan this year. With Atlanta in a rebuild, Ryan was dealt to Indianapolis, where he's their sixth week one quarterback in six seasons. One of the most decorated quarterbacks still active, this move will keep Ryan on a contender as he chases his first career Super Bowl title. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Right away, they rack up 10 yards on their first play from scrimmage. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. To throw is Ryan. He'll find Hines out of the backfield. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll make it second down. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Ryan. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Only two yards, and it'll be a punt on their opening possession. Yeah, and a third down. You know those pass rushers, they're in the starter's block. They're just waiting for the pistol to fire. You can almost hear the defensive coaches on the sideline pre-snap. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Really good job there of identifying it and making the play to force fourth down. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. This is taken around the 12. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. They'll be led out by a man in his 23rd NFL season. Still doing it at age 45, Tom Brady. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 25 yards that time. They'll 
run with Sanders up the middle. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. What do you hit? Second down, and back they go to Sanders. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. This is third and one. Very likely four-down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Hey. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. They'll run with Sanders. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Second and nine. They'll go again with Sanders. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. Offensive line right now really freeing up the rushing lanes on this drive. And we have to give them props. They've earned them. But these big runs that we're seeing, they don't result without everyone else being involved as well. Blocking on the perimeter has to take place downfield, too. So first and goal now from the seven-yard line. Now Brady. This is caught. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Brady going to throw. Got a man. It's Johnson. End zone for a Miami touchdown. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Dolphins post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. With Charles here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. From the shotgun, Ryan. And that is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. On third down, Ryan. He'll find Paris Campbell. That's complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. First down now, but the clock continues to move. 
Bryant will throw again. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives him a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. On third down, here's Taylor. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. To punt on fourth down, here's Rigoberto Sanchez. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. And the Dolphins with one final possession here in this first half. And they may be content to take this 7-0 lead into the locker room. We'll see. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And some room to run now. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. A great effort there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Dolphins would extend their lead here just before halftime. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. And McPherson on for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Bringing it out of his end zone, Isaiah Rodgers. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And they're going to be set up in the red zone at the 15. And in our meeting with the special teams coordinator, we asked him, what's your, what's your philosophy on bringing the ball out? Do you give him a red light? Do you keep him in? Green light, let him go? Uh, let, let's see if he changes from green light to red light after that costly error. Yeah, you know what I remember from that meeting? He brought donuts. I like him. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, he, but he's not happy right now. No, don't tell everyone how many I have. <laughs> and he is going to lose yardage here. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Takes it at the seven. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it the 26. The Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. To throw again on second down, Brady. Got a man open, it's Chase. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Open man for him. He's got him. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 
Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Again, it's Brady. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. To throw again on second down. Brady. Trying to get it to Chase, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Armani Watts. And the Colts are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they just got a little help from their defense forcing the turnover. Now can they make that pay off in points? They need to, partner. They're down on the scoreboard. They need to take advantage of those opportunities. And this is a good one right in front of them. On second down, it's Taylor. And he'll push forward for a couple to the 34. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Here's Ryan. Finds his big tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. And it's taken in at the 9. It's a net of 40 there, a punt of 48 and a return of 8. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Dolphins ready to take over on offense. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their play. There he goes, left side. The 30. 10. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Keyshawn Johnson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. McPherson on for the point after. And it is now 21 to nothing. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. Now a hit and a loose football. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, and now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Up the middle, here's Taylor. A nice little juke, and he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters in the books. Back now in Miami. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. On second and ten. Ryan, catch made here by Campbell. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. 
And he is going to have a Colts first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Throwing again. Ryan. This one completes Alec Pierce. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Now Ryan. He'll find a man over the middle. It's Pittman. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. And it's caught. Touchdown, Colts. Matt Ryan able to connect with Michael Pittman. And the Colts are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And they'll cut the lead to 21-7. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was capped off on the touchdown catch by Michael Pittman. And the Dolphins are going to recover. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Brady going to throw here. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Colts are right back in this football game. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Well, the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to our third and three. Now Ryan. That's complete to Pierce. And he is going to have a Colts first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. I think everyone in the stadium saw that big hit coming. And I, as a former defensive back, I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed. He actually was able to hold on to the ball. He brought the lumber on that play. Give my man a whole lot of credit for taking the hit and possessing the football. And picking up the first down. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Again, Ryan. He'll drop this down to Taylor. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Ryan now to throw on third down. Oh, he's got his tight end, Mo Alley Cox, complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed it.